To say that I was surprised to see these articles is an understatement. You know what's odd? They were referring to this as a mystery illness one month ago. Mystery illness sounds familiar. Remember that Kawasaki-like mystery illness we don't know? The one I said was identical to radiation poisoning. The one they were killing children with. Yeah, the one I made a video on. And now they're saying that mystery illness affecting US diplomats is radiation poisoning. Hmm, does Frankie boy always have to be right? Maybe if they knew about Wi-Fi shielding.com, they would have been safe. That being said, this is the first time I've seen so many news articles pushed so rapidly. Over 20 in just the span of a few hours. On top of that, it's surprising the government is acknowledging the existence of radio frequency weaponry on such a you know, large mainstream scale. Using the words microwave, radiation, it's incredibly unusual. Is this their way of telling us the new Wi-Fi infrastructure can target us and that it's harmful? The latest media blitz raises many questions. Of course, the control over this mainstream media is blatant. You shouldn't even call it the news. And the actual definition of news is newly received or noteworthy information, especially about recent or important events. Information not previously known to someone. So there's no technical clause in the definition of news saying that it has to be about something that actually happened. Something that has to be truthful. Report points to microwave attack as likely source of mystery illness that hit diplomats and spies. Havana syndrome likely caused by pulsed microwave energy. Microwaves part of mysterious illness hitting US diplomats in Cuba. US diplomats and spies battle Trump administration over suspected attacks. Havana syndrome, directed radio frequency likely cause of illness. Scientists link radiation to mysterious Havana syndrome that hit US diplomats. Havana syndrome, likely caused by directed microwaves. Directed radio frequency, plausible cause of Havana syndrome. Microwave radiation likely made US diplomats sick in Cuba, China. Microwave energy likely behind illnesses of American diplomats in Cuba and China. Microwave radiation, most plausible cause of diplomats ailments. Report finds microwave energy likely made US diplomats ill. Microwave energy likely made US diplomats ill. In Cuba. Report finds microwave energy likely made US diplomats ill. <laughs> are, we seeing a, are we seeing a pattern here? What? American diplomats in Cuba were likely targeted by microwave energy. US diplomats in Cuba and China targeted by microwave radiation that caused brain injuries. New report finds microwave radiation likely behind illness of US diplomats in Cuba. Microwave radiation behind illness of US diplomats in Cuba. US diplomats in Cuba. China likely targeted with microwave radiation. Mysterious Havana syndrome has been making US diplomats sick for years. Scientists finally have an explanation. Hopefully you guys made it through that because I almost didn't. And I would bet you there's over 100 articles on this. Absolutely crazy. And you always have to think, why do they want you to know this? Is it because they're adhering to some type of natural law where they need to tell the truth? Arguably, if you see all of these news articles, the information available, you should start questioning a lot of things. But then, if you go back to the mainstream media source for an answer, they will tell you, Oh, radiation is fine. Stay on your phone. Shop for Black Friday. Stay on your phone. No, the point is to understand the broad general message being given in these articles. Radio frequency radiation will fry your brain. Scramble your brain. I've made several videos explaining damaging effects of radiation. One last week summarizing the three main types, electric, magnetic, and radio frequency. The latter of which is the focus here. I've done a video specifically on microwaves, how they're dangerous. 
I've said that cell phones cause diabetes, explaining the mechanism. I've explained how non-ionizing radiation is harmful. If you want to understand the science and studies, check out those videos. We won't go into that today. All of these articles, despite being so many, are fairly similar, but we'll take a look at the New York Times. Washington. The most probable cause of a series of mysterious afflictions that sickened American spies and diplomats abroad in the past several years was radio frequency energy, a type of radiation that includes microwaves. The conclusion by a committee of 19 experts in medicine and other fields cited directed pulsed radio frequency energy as the most plausible mechanism to explain the illness which came to be known as Havana syndrome, though they said that they could not rule out other possible causes and that secondary factors may have contributed to symptoms. The report, which was commissioned by the State Department, provides the most definitive explanation yet of the illness that struck scores of government employees, first at the U.S. Embassy in Havana in 2016 and then in China and other countries. Many of the officers suffered from dizziness, fatigue, headaches and loss of hearing, memory and balance, and some were forced into permanent retirement. Don't these symptoms sound awfully familiar? You know what? And isn't it a bit unusual that there were 19 experts on that committee? Do you think they did that on purpose? And this wasn't the only occurrence. CIA officers visiting overseas stations also experienced similar symptoms. The officers were traveling to discuss countering Russia covert operations with foreign intelligence agencies, a fact that adds to suspicions that Moscow is behind the episodes. Though couched in careful, scientific language, the new report reveals strong evidence that incidents were the result of a malicious attack. It attributes the illnesses to directed and pulsed rather than continuous energy implying that the victim's exposure was targeted and not the result of more common sources of microwave energy, such as, for example, a cell phone. It also said the committee found the immediate symptoms that patients reported, including strange sensations of pain, pressure, and sound that often appeared to emanate from a particular direction or occurred in a specific spot in a room, were more consistent with a directed attack of radio frequency energy. So they're admitting this technology exists. They're admitting it causes health problems. They even related it to a cell phone. I'm surprised they didn't say, hey, your Amazon Alexa device in the corner is performing a pulsed radio frequency attack on you. They also admit it was covered up. Mark Lindsay, a diplomatic security officer who was afflicted with the symptoms while working in Guangzhou, China in early 2018, said that the administration's treatment of its employees, including its efforts to deny and cover up inconvenient scientific and medical facts, had left him angrier at his own government than the government that injured him. My government looked the other way when they knew I and my family were injured, he said. This report is just the beginning, and when the American people know the full extent of this administration's cover-up of the radio frequency attacks in China in particular, they will be outraged. Their illnesses and suffering are real and demand a response from Congress, Ms. Shaheen said. While I'm encouraged by the progress we're seeing, much more must be done to uncover the source of these incidents and ensure that no other public servant suffers in this way. To me, it's blatantly obvious that you know what is covering up the installation of this new five grams infrastructure that is needed to control us, to blast our brains with certain frequencies. If this article doesn't convince you of that, where basically the exact same thing happened, I don't know what will. Obviously, the U.S. Army, the intelligence is more advanced than anywhere else, so they have this technology developed and are definitely using it on enemies, certainly including their own citizens, 
which is why I sleep in a metal box. A team of medical and scientific experts who studied the symptoms of as many as 40 state department and other government employees concluded that nothing like them had previously been documented in medical literature. Many reported hearing a loud sound and feeling pressure in their heads, and then experiencing dizziness, unsteady gait, and visual disturbances. Many suffered long-standing, debilitating effects. Hmm, long-standing, debilitating effects? You know what else has lingering problems? You guessed it. From brain fog to heart damage, you know what? Lingering problems alarm scientists. Honestly guys, at this point, I feel like I don't need to make any more videos about how obvious this is. Just like when Raw Alignment was sponsored by ButcherBox, everyone was finally convinced that they were all sellouts, something that I had been saying for over a year. To me, this was absolutely insane when it all started, as it has been to most people by now. But if you show someone this video and they don't completely agree with me, they're hopelessly brainwashed by the psychological warfare operation conducted by the mainstream media. You look at these articles, they're literally spelling out what they want to tell you. It's so obvious. They put the word cell phone in there, they put the number 19 in there, they mention radiation, microwaves, I... Doesn't get more obvious than this. People need to use their brain a little bit to think. So thank you guys for joining me today. As I mentioned earlier, wifishielding.com. I should have the bed canopies up by Tuesday or Wednesday. The shipping is free, so it doesn't really matter if you place separate orders, but you do get a discount over $200. Uh, so definitely check that out. But if you could please share the video on social media, drop me a like, leave a comment down below, say hi to Frankie Boy, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Thank you.